I think the best advice we got, which was something we probably got a lot, was you know whether we we won or lost that we actually won because we were here and we made it, we made it here with this film and we have people talking about this film and I think that's a big win for everybody. I know the worst advice we got was, uh, are you guys sure you want to try and do it this year? <laughs> uh, yes, Lawrence. Yes, Lawrence, we're sure we want to do it this year. <laughs> Our next question is going to be from B, B Live. Hi, how are you? We can hear you now. Okay. Hi, how are you? This is me, Jake Sims, BBE Live. And first of all, I want to say congratulations to you guys. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. So what has been your reaction thus far, just winning this particular award for your tremendous work? I, you know, when we started this journey to make this film, we knew, I especially knew it would be a film that would be difficult for people to, to watch, difficult for people to, you know, politically even engage with. And for it to have done what it's done and for us to be here holding these for a movie as as potent and as as serious uh as our film is from the academy i i think it's it's unbelievable i think it's 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 amazing to think that we could be standing here today holding oscars for a film about police brutality i think that's incredible all right thank you for your time congratulations Thank you. Oh, thank you. Our next question is from Young, Bold, and Regal. I saw the film and I was just astounded by the depth of it when it came to making it a short film. Tell me about the process of how you guys went about making it. Um, you know, it started with, with an idea. I had an idea while we were out protesting and marching that was spurred on by how I was feeling about what I was seeing, how I was feeling about internalizing, uh, you know, the pain of seeing so many black people be killed at the hands of the police, and in thinking about the emotional, uh, you know, roller coaster you go on every time you hear a new name or a new story or see a new video, it, it put me in the mindset of, you know, it, this feels like living the worst version of Groundhog Day. And when I had that thought to myself, it was something that I. Uh, you know, I couldn't put it away. It would not go away. And so because it was the pandemic and we weren't working, we weren't doing anything, I felt like, you know, I wanted to probably sit down and do something with it. And so I told Martin about the idea and, and you know, I asked him if, if this was something that we could make or, or and do right, like right now. And, you know, which was crazy at the time. It was a pandemic and we're trying to make a short film, which, you know, how do you even go about doing that in, in a regular uh, uh or a non-pandemic time period and to do it then at the time seemed crazy, but you know, we kind of defied that all the way to this stage here. I, I'm, I'm blah, blah. <laughs> what, what he said. <laughs> Our next question is from blackfilm.com, Ellen. Congratulations on this epic win. Um, the chemistry, cinematic chemistry between the pair of you is pretty strong. Any future plans to work together again? I'm crossing my fingers, yes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I think, that, I mean, he better not be going anywhere. I think, I think he's going to go. He can't hide. He's right there at all. I know where he's at. He's following the yellow hair. I think we got a long road ahead of us of making many more movies. Many, many years.